it's his first trip ever. Justin's driving his truck. This looks so cool. My sled, Joey's sled, Travis's sled, Brandon's sled. The snowshoes are gonna be just crucial. Just getting charged up, ready to go. Finally made it to the portage. Here we go. Heading up. This does not display even in the least how steep this is. This when you think the hill might be done, it continues. Intense. Those were some hard conditions. Deceiving portage. Yeah, it was on. probably about four times we said, There, I can see the lake just ahead. <laughs> you come up around the corner only to be deceived. Yeah. So we stopped in the spot that we think is about where we were last year. <sighs> Tarps first. Finally got set up here. Joe's already got four. First walleye, right there. Right as the sun's popping out, I'll go get a shot in that. Feel like it's good. Sunrise there. Very beautiful. Cold one last night. We woke up and it was negative three in, in the tent. So our goal is to hit some perch. We've got quite a hike to the far end of the lake. And we failed. Zero perch. What are we talking? Big 22. 22. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wind's starting to pick up out there. into our cozy little tent and sleep good. Total of 22 fish getting packed out. That's pretty good. Pack out day. We got blessed with the perfect morning for pack out day. What's in this trail here? What do you think, man? How hard is this? It's pretty hard. It's late it's in it, isn't it? Yeah. It's no joke. Finally made it. Like dog sledding there. Back to the truck. Travis back there, still coming. Whew, home sweet home. Got some snow last night. Pretty. About 6.30 in the morning. Just doing some final packing up. And we'll load the truck and go get some McDonald's. Gonna be good. 
just kind of roll it over like you did with mine. Yeah. Only perch. As far like it's it's seven feet. It's shallow. Yeah. But it's perch everywhere, and so. We didn't try it last winter, and I would just be very curious to try it this yeah. winter. You can't pack it nearly as compact. Rat time. Travis's first trip ever. Is that good? video? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Justin's driving his truck. Yeah! Joey kept lollygagging, had to go to this place, had to go, go to that place, had to go take a dump. Yeah, I've been sitting in the truck for the past hour driving around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this uh, white pine grove coming up. It's my favorite part. Man, Old man. pines. Just looks so cool. We just got to Lake. Lodge is right up here. Here's Travis. Uh, he's kind of getting ready. Joe's getting his snowshoes on. There's the truck. Just wanted to give you the shots of all of our sleds before we load out. There's my sled. Water bottle and jacket on top. Joey sled. Also, <laughs> probably the deepest snow we've ever, definitely the deepest snow we've ever had on this lake. Travis's sled. Got that baby loaded down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> These snowshoes are gonna be just crucial. Mine? Uh, all of them in the snow. Oh. The snowshoes are going to be essential. There's Brandon's sled. So we're headed back to try to catch walleye again. Which is up this way around the corner. A couple miles. One portage up a hill. And then there's It's a plan. So... Getting charged up, ready to go. Getting your snowshoes on. Yep. Putting on your extenders I'm there. With the fence today. Well, for sure, with all that snow out there, huh? Yeah, exactly. Um, although I, I do like the way that Joe's connect better than mine. They just kind of pop in. Yeah. I've lost them before. And I've really? Been lucky to find them. But you uh, gotta keep an eye on it. Yeah. Gotta keep an eye on it. And then at the hill, do you recommend using the televators or not? <laughs> <laughs> these, these snowshoes have this amazing feature called the televator. Just this little bar pops up and gives you when you're going up a hill. Last year we hit that huge hill and I forgot to use mine. <laughs> yeah. Just getting some water. That's some. That's still water from home. Yo, all I gotta do is throw that bag in. He's having some harness problems. He's shortening up his harness a little bit. Because Travis's sled has been tipping. So hopefully they can get that worked out. There's Brandon back there still getting ready. So beautiful lake beautiful how the snow just sticks to the the pines like that that's where we're headed there's the lodge right up there and we're headed right around that way
come. Brandon in the lead. Come around this bend here. There's a trail here that we got off that went around the island and we went the other side. Here it is. If you're not on that trail, you can really start feeling. Now I lost it. Here it is. Hard to find. Yeah, I know, I see that. Yep. I know. Yep. Finally made it to the portage. Take a little breather. Yeah, let's. Get some water, have, have a seat, maybe eat some food. So why don't you go up as high as you can, Brandon? It's right up here, the hill starts right here, so we'll just stop here. Beautiful though, huh? Yeah. Man, excited to get up there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You guys can have some. Sweet. Here we go, heading up. Brandon taking the lead. Holy cow, huh? Yeah. This, this does not display even in the least how steep this is. Here's vertical. Up, up, up. Just when you think, the, just when you think the hill might be done, it continues. There's Brandon. Yeah, it's no joke. Just leading the way here. There was one time Brandon's pole went down all the way to the handle. The snow was four feet intense might be nearing the top Snow on the camera. <sighs> Lake. Wow. Those were some hard conditions. It's a deceiving portage. It yeah. just goes on and on. But probably about four times we said, there I can see the lake just ahead. <laughs> You come up around the corner only to be deceived. Yeah. Oh, feels good though. Yeah. Our lake for three days. Yeah, I mean you can see I'm standing almost pretty much up to my knees. With so. <laughs> yeah. So we got. And we don't want to set up here, only to go set up there tomorrow. So we want to make sure we keep pushing hard until we get there. We officially hit the lake at about two o'clock. It's right now two o'clock. Last year we went out to that second peninsula roughly. Yeah. That's about where we ended up. Good area. We caught them. Yeah. 
Maybe shoot for it again. Shoot for it again, yeah. All right. So we stopped in the spot that we think is about where we were last year. Pro tip up. No action yet on this one. It's about 10 feet of water. But over here, Brandon has had one fish on and graphed a couple at the vex. And Joe has caught a fish. One fish already. We are in about the same spot we were last year. You can see we're starting to dig out our footprint now. Yeah, he had the one up to the hole, but the Vexlar yeah. plug was right there, got snagged up and lost him. Brandon's first fish, little walleye. Just wanted to give a little update on our setup here while we're setting it up. We still gotta put that one down there, Brandon, to get it square. Basically, tarps first, grommeted, all the corners are already grommeted. This one, both ice houses are connecting, so we got two clips there. And then, why? I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I mean, it's up to us. We can try it anyway. Yeah, It'd be nice. This is Brandon's number, number two. Number two. This is nice walleye. Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah, it's good. Let's get Dad back. This one we take it home. What's that? Dad can eat this one when we take it home. Yep. That's your number two. Joe's got three already. Yeah. And Travis and I with zero. Finally got set up here. Nice little setup. Let's go see what's going on over here. Knock, knock. What's up? Nice. Look at this rig. Travis and me, Travis, you and I are at, at zero. We got some catching up to do here. Oh, yeah. Ain't seen anything? Had any bites? No. Didn't you have one a while back? Or something? No? Did I? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Cool. I had one on, yeah. I did have one on, can't got him up to the hole. But my fishing line got what is it? Fishing pole. Bummer. <laughs> no, we just eat them. <laughs> so Joe's already got fish, four. Got a soft fish. Joe, hold them out long, the long way for us. <laughs> what? I got long. like you grab, you know, you can see one, each individual fish. There. There we go. Nice. Okay, now look Good smile. eaters, man. <clears throat> Joey four. <laughs> Joey four. Travis zero. Do you have to me, say that? Me, I, zero. me zero. <laughs> and Brandon three. Mm. Close, close behind. Mm. All right, it's tomorrow. So dark. This is irony water. Tomorrow yeah. will be a different day, though. I promise you that. So we oh. found out why Travis didn't catch one. We're looking at his poles here. Come to find out. It's not focusing. 
I'm just pulling and pulling and pulling. Oh. And, oh. <laughs> so the line wasn't completely secured, so the, so the line just spins free and Travis goes, oh, that's fine. Just go ahead and grab my other one. <laughs> So we grabbed his other one and just spin free that one too. So now, now he's got to spend some time fixing it. But thankfully Joey brought three poles, so we'll start with that. There's my first walleye right there. Oh. So right as the sun's popping out, I'll go get a shot of that so you can see, but it is 630, 625. Mm -hmm. Feels good, yeah. Beautiful sunrise there. Just put the ball in that hole. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Cold one last night. We woke up and it was negative three in in the in the tent. Whew, very cold. Brandon just landed a nice walleye. For, for this lake especially. Oh, about 20 and a half. Whoa, Whoa, Whoa catch it. it. Just this, okay. 20 and a half. 20 and a half. Nice. Travis decided to come hang out. Yeah. Just kind of fit him in right 20 there. 20 and a half, huh? Yeah, for this lake, because they're generally smaller here, but uh, this is a nice one. Oh, well, that's a nice fish. All right. What is this? Let's get a picture of you. Yeah, the other bigger one I caught was kind of white like this too. Nice. <laughs> Got it. Let's see. Nice. All right, one picture on this camera. Ready? I mean, what are the odds? going light this morning oh, not this morning about 11 45 got quite a hike the far end of the lake there's this spot where you cross over a beaver dam and on the other side are perch only so our goal is to hit some perch we did pretty good this morning I got four walleye Brandon's new total, I think, is seven. That's a tent total of 11. Not bad, we'll, I'll update you on the other tent later. And you can see we're in a t-shirt. So how the t temperature has definitely turned. It was negative three this morning. So, so sweet all the snow just I know, sparkling snow. Here we come, perch.
Here's the part where we cross into the other part of the lake. Right there you can see uh, some potential open water. And all along here, right there, those are some pretty sketchy looking spots. So we're kind of going up and around and deepest part of the lake we've ever graphed over here is seven feet deep. That's kind of what we're going to be looking for, right? Once we get to what we perceive to be a safe water, we'll go out and try to find seven feet out in the middle. Not too far up here. Let's see if we can't tie into some perch. Keep moving. We started popping one hole here. Oh, Travis layered up and then we're going to move again. Oh, yeah. Travis, dude. <laughs> You can see we uh, went a little shallow. You can see how deep the snow is even just before you get to the ice. Woo. I'll take it. Yeah. Someday. I mean, I love pictures of them. Travis and I are just about to leave. We stayed behind to try to catch perch and we failed. Zero perch. Brandon and Joey left a while back, and because it's super shallow, it's about under the ice, there's probably about three feet of swimming space. This might be the deepest part of the lake, so it was a fail. However, we made freeze dried uh, breakfast hash. It's basically, we just treated it as a good lunch spot stop. <laughs> Late lunch, got a little energy, and now we'll hike back, be back by about 3.15, 3.30 to catch the night bite. See if the guys had any luck on the way back. Yeah, hold it up for the camera. Yeah. Brandon nailed one, Num number two right there. And then Joe got an eater right oh, here. Yeah, we're, we're losing now, aren't we? No, I don't think so. Huh? I just lost one. Walleye of the trip so far. So far. How, what are we talking? Big 22. 22. 22 and a quarter. Sure I, I, I had to hear, let me get a shot of his face. I had to help him through the hole. His, his head would barely even fit through the hole. Yeah. That's a good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Well done. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. It's a nice 22. Uh, mm -hmm. Awesome. Good job. Fatty. Wind's starting to pick up out there. Look at that. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna batten down the hatches a little bit. conditions here huh yeah we just batten down the hatches a little bit make sure to tie out these uh guy lines that one same on the other side Gotta climb into our cozy little tent, into our warm little sleeping bag, 
and sleep good. You can see how much snow we got. Tracks all around in here. That may be about a that may be about six, eight inches of snow. Maybe more. Sled. Ah. So just pre-ground the beans with this. Freshest cup of coffee ever. No. let go of your chair and it just flew across the lake. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Oh. Woo. That was a good one. not time to go home yet what happened is there was an inch of water that had developed because we dug too deep to the ice and so we had to tear everything down <laughs> and throw some snow on top about a couple inches worth of snow now we're repacking it down letting it freeze and then resetting up back on top but we might only do one on top just to save time That's just a little update.
Oh. Hey, I guess I'm guessing around 2021. 20, Caught him with the iFish Pro. Got him, yeah. With that guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, hold him up real quick. All right. Oh, big one, man. Beauty. All right. Let me get a uh, picture right there. Maybe getting too. a little video. <laughs> I guess it's just warmer in here. There's Joe and Travis. Oh, get focus. <sighs> Joe and Travis's. Water like that? Frozen? Yeah, that's just from being outside. Oh, yeah, they'll thaw. Them. Yeah. Here we are in Joe and Travis's ice house. Can I get your light on, Brad? How many we got here, guys? 21. 21. Is that counting the other fillet? No, Brand? not there, though. Not counting the other fillet. Total of 22 fish getting packed out. <laughs> That's pretty good. Did you melt it? Got a lot of no. oh, thank God. A lot of flaying to do now. Packing out. Pack out day. Beautiful. We got blessed with the perfect morning for pack out day. Check out this snow drift here. Wow. Lots of wind this trip. Hey, Nick. I had to dig down to there. Yeah. It's probably about three feet. <laughs> Lots of wind, lots of snow. That's where we're headed right there. Our plan was to uh, stick to the trail that we made on our way out here. But as you can see, there's no trail to be found due to all the snow and all the wind. So we're gonna be reblazing. Thankfully that portage up the hill is now going to be mainly downhill, so that's looking up. But boy did we get a nice yeah. pack out day here. Looks like Brandon had to go jet off and take a poop halfway through his hike. Travis and I are blitzing this trail here. What do you think man, how hard is this? Pretty hard it's blazing it isn't it? Yeah. It's no joke. Just slow and steady, we're just going like snails, but we'll get there. Look at this, right at the end, we found our other trail. A little shred of hope. Finally made it. Sitting across <laughs> Took about 45 minutes this time. 2018, baby. 2018. Best trip yet. Found the trail. There's open water there. It's the stream that comes in. Stop and get some water before we go. Oh man, I yeah, I'm gonna drop my sled and get some water. Maybe eat a little something. Woo! Can't get enough of this, this is pretty. 
Wow. Uh, not many big ones, just a bunch of little ones. Huh? Oh, shoot. Thanks. Yeah. I don't think this is for wind. No. Like dog sledding there. Yeah. Well done, man. Oh. You okay? <laughs> Need help? Oh. Oh. Here we are. Woo. <laughs> Lake. Yeah. We're able to link up with this uh, trail here. Back to the lodge. It's kind of our saving grace. Back to the truck. Brandon and Travis back there still coming. Whew, home sweet home.